don't need that much power, honestly. Science has proven that this is enough to knock out a person. The problem is when you're fighting, you get all excited and you think you have to hit hard, but you don't. You want to be relaxed as much as you can and just look for the timing. When, when you see Ernesto fighting on his videos, you'll see that he's, he's like a, a bow and arrow. He's slightly leaned forward, right? His foot is poised, what you call poised. It means it's ready, it's ready to shoot at any moment. And basically, when you break down what he does, he does one of two things. He either starts the attack himself, or he, he takes advantage of the opponent doing something. He counters. He counters. Now, the counter one for Ernesto was what made him, in my opinion, why they call him Mr. Perfect. Because a simple jab, like we're working on right now, is an incredible, what we call in Japanese, kikake, what's that mean? It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity creator to unleash his combination. In his mind, he's already seen the combination happening. I'm not sure everybody is seeing combinations happening before it does, but I want you to try and imagine that. We're gonna do the same drill, but we're gonna try and do what I think is the best combination ever invented. It is the counter, one, two, three, low kick for the jab. So if I'm jabbing, one, he goes one, two, three, and he smacks me with his low kick. All right, now the, the, the idea is that it's not one and two. It's four, it's four techniques coming back from only one. So he's doing a lot, but the objective of what he's doing is confusing me so much that I don't know what's going on, and he hits me clean. Awesome. Okay, but that, let's uh, do it like this. Um, when the attack, he attacks, and then I will counter on your right hand. No, no, just put your hand up. One, two, three, four. Yeah? So put the right hand up. One, two, three, and go. Oof. I do it uh, back and forth. Back and forth, yeah, we can do back and forth. 